Right, we're looking at indices and the word evaluate here. There's two words you're going to see here, obviously, evaluate and simplify. Now, evaluate means find a value for. So if I'm asked to evaluate 3 to the 4, it means I need to actually work it out. So 3 to the power 4 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So four threes are multiplied together. Now, that's one of the ones you should memorise, unfortunately. You, I, but it's 81. 3 times 3 is 9. Three times, so that's nine, that's nine, nine times nine is 81. Okay, so that's the first one. Now if I'm evaluating this little bit of bib mass, will tell me that four squared is four times four, and five cubed is five times five times five. I've got to do the indices first, so that's 16, and that's 125. Again, they're both ones you should know. Then you add them up, so you should end up with 141. Now, second word we're going to see is simplify. So that means we don't need to find out a value for it. We just need to write it in a simpler form. All right. Now, if I write three to the power of five as a whole, you know, long-winded wise, okay. And and I'm going to actually just uh, the where is it there? Good. And then there's the multiply in the middle. And then three squared looks like that. Now. I can therefore now write that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3. So 3 to the power 7 should be the answer. Similar sort of thing with this one. Now remember 7 on its own is actually 7 to the power 1. But what I like to do is write it as a fraction. All right, you get 7 to the power 6 looks like this. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. One more I think. Yeah, there we go. And 7 on its own looks like that. Now... What's, I can cancel out what's on the bottom with anything on the top that's equivalent. So what am I left with? Well, there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, so 7 to the power 5. So evaluate means find a value for, simplify means write in a simpler form. All right? It'll often say leaving your answer in index form or something like that.